Hi guys, it's Pink Vision Tarot here, and I'm just going to do an energy update for everyone today. Um, it's a general reading, take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, if you don't like tarot readers, don't watch their channels. So, you know, that's just a little heads up. Um, I had a few comments on one of my um, videos, basically going on about tarot readers and stuff on YouTube and it's like if you don't like them don't watch them it just doesn't make any sense but you know there are trolls out there everywhere so you know guys tarot is a great way to give you a heads up on what's going on the cards never lie but you know you can't live your life through a tarot reading everyone knows that and most people on here know that but you know if you can get some messages that help you that's great but you know we all have free will so guys for the ones that are smart and that know what the drill is, let's um, see what this reading tells us. For the others, go and watch other channels on YouTube. You don't have to watch tarot. You know, go and watch a kid's station. Oh, six of sword. And yet moving on to calmer, clearer, safer waters. Sometimes doing it in the middle of the night. Moving away from bullshit, moving away from toxic behaviors, toxic people, um, into a safer, karma area. It's almost like um, um, escaping, escaping violence, escaping. The Three of Cups reversed. Maybe escaping alcoholism, maybe escaping someone's overindulgence, someone's selfishness, someone's um, addictions. Escaping yourself from addictions, from overindulgence, escapism, gossip, jealousy, partying, over-partying, you know, escaping. Someone's escaping, and I wish you well. Um, the Knight of Swords, escaping an overindulgent stalker, escaping violence, escaping abuse. <laughs> Domestic violence. King of Swords reversed is violent. And the Six of Swords is often about moving to a safer location, like a safe house in the middle of the night. This can be about a domestic violence. King of Swords is ruthless. They're bitter. They're violent. You know, you need to be careful with this person. It's an air sign energy. The Tower reversed. Avoiding this. Or a heads up that, you know, you need to make sure that you're away from this Knight of Swords. The Tower. You know, something being broken down. Something that's not working. Something that's false. A foundation that's built on lies. A foundation that's built on illusion. Instead of that gaslighting. Moving away from that. Finally. Is this the week that you move away from that? I think it is. Death card. Death card obviously can be a physical death, but it can be just a transformation and change and moving away from what was that wasn't serving you. Um, you know, it could be someone passing away to do with alcoholism or some kind of addictions. That, you know, that could always be on the cards. And I hope that isn't, but, you know, that is the reality. Knave of Pentacles reverse two um, energies of, of, I think, false starts and someone watching and, and someone not being happy. And I think jealousy, huge jealousy is a disease, guys. Someone not wanting a tower moment, someone trying to avoid a tower moment, a jealous person, a violent person, an abusive person not wanting a tower moment. But, you know, let's see what else comes out. Knave of chalices. The knight of chalices. The knight of cups. Maybe an offer of love. Maybe an apology coming in. Maybe an apology because someone doesn't want the tower to come in. Someone's reflecting. I see, you know, um, deflection. I feel that this person could have used deflection tactics. So they could have blamed you for doing what they did. That's why you've got this reflection in there. So they could tell people you're abusive and you're this and you're that. And that's 
what exactly what they are, but that's what they're portraying everyone that you are. Three of Pentacles reverse, so another um, three th reverse third party situations interfering gossip. Can't stand people that gossip. Can't stand people that are jealous. You know, get a life. Get a life. You know, gossiping can just do so much damage. And yeah, I just, let's not get into it because I feel heated. I feel heated. Knight of Wands could be dealing with a fire sign that's just jealous. Fire sign that has got a fake an apology to offer you. Will you take it? Probably not. The hangman. I mean, this situation, this person's kept you in limbo for long enough. Like, they've kept you tied up for long a fucking enough. And you're ready for the Six of Swords. You were ready probably six years ago, six weeks ago, six months ago. But this person keeps you bound. Because they throw out negative energy throw out negative thoughts and, and accusations about you because they're jealous. And and it's there's a, a, a roll-on effect. Four of Swords reversed. You are over it. You're, you're sick of waiting. You're sick of being tied up in someone else's bullshit. You know what? You're sick of surviving someone else's madness. Three of Wands, another three, waiting for, for your ships to come in. Three. So three, 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 God, the divine is watching you. The divine is sorting this out. The divine is clearing out this person, this karmic. The divine wants you to move forward to safer, calmer waters. The divine is watching this um, king of swords like a hawk, more than you would even know. Seven of chalices, the con artist card, the card of options. The illusions are gone. temperance at the bottom of the deck again could be dealing with a fire sign could be dealing with a sag and this is this alcohol too drinking too much overindulging but balance has to be restored judgment at the bottom of that the divine is is um definitely at play here the divine is changing things for you is opening everyone's eyes to who this person is the divine is trying to clear this person away this person's of trying to avoid this tower at all costs they don't want to leave your life they don't want to stop causing chaos they don't want to they love it they feed off it but the divine is coming in three 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 god's plan that's how it is you surrendered, you asked for help, and it's coming. It's coming. And it's long overdue. I'm going to just do a couple of clar clarifiers, guys, so we can see. Why is the tower reversed in this spread? Why is the tower reversed in this spread? Why is the tower reversed? Cheerfulness. Yeah, someone still wants to fake that everything's okay. Because they, as I said, you know, they enjoy causing chaos in your life. This person gets a euphoric feeling out of trying to screw you into the ground. That's what they, that's what they do. What's judgment? Why is judgment here? Why is the judgment card here? Reunion. So you could be reunited with this person and reunited with this person for some reason. And it's about a judgment call being made. So why is the temperance card here? So you might, you know, there might be a court situation. You have to reunite with them or see them. Why is the temperance card here? Signs. You're going to start seeing signs that um, change is coming. Change is on its way. And just why is the death card here? Toxic karmic energy. Female, male, jealousy. You know, 
Look at them drinking again. Three glasses. A third party situation. Wow, we can never be caught. We can do whatever we want and no one can do anything about it. Death card. What is the death card for? Falseness. False. The apology is false. They're sending out negative energy. Telling people that slandering you. Slandering your name. But it's who they are. It's a reflection of who they are. But there's a plan in here, guys. So have faith that things are going to work out. And there are bumps along the road. But sometimes the universe wants it to be a big tower for them to really wake up. Because that's the only way karmics wake up. It's the only way they wake up. So uh, just an energy update, guys. You know, I think it's all about safety king of swords is not a not a nice guy so we want everyone to be safe um so take care and i'll talk to you later